I play a young woman named Hazel Grace Lancaster, and she uh, she has a cancer which affects her lungs. She has cancer in her lungs, uh, among other places. And so she can't breathe, so she's constantly breathing through this thing called a cannula, which is connected to an oxygen tank that she carries around everywhere with her, which is quite common uh, for a lot of people who have the type of cancer that she has. And she, throughout the course of the movie, she falls in love with a young boy named Augustus Waters, who she meets in her support group. And through their love story, discovers what's important in life, what's not important in life. I read the book and pretty much decided that I was going to do anything I could to be a part of this movie. The universal messages I just thought were so important and so integral for humanity these days to hear. And if we were able to take such a beautiful lesson and deliver it to the world in artistic form, such as like visual media, it's just, it very rarely do you go to the movies and leave feeling like your world has com been completely rocked for the better. Hazel meets Gus in support group, which is funny because she didn't want to go in the first place. And the first thing that happens is he stands up and he goes on this rant about how he's afraid of oblivion. And the way that Hazel lives her life is that oblivion is inevitable, it's going to happen, and so you might as well accept it because it doesn't matter who you are or what you are, you're going to disappear in time. And I, for her, she had A, never met, I think, you know, upon first sight, the thing that struck her about Gus is how incredibly good looking he was and yet how witty he was. And I think for a 16, 17 year old, really intelligent young woman that those kinds of people don't come into your life very often. One of the beautiful things about Hazel Grace is that she, as much as it sucks, as much as she hates it, she embraces what she has instead of sitting here 24 seven sort of wallowing in her own sadness because it's a really awful situation that Unfortunately, she has to cope with. But she's a normal girl going through normal girl things of meeting a guy for the first time, falling in love for the first time. And does, you know, does my hair look okay? Does my breath smell bad? Everything from that to she's going to college and she's taking classes to dealing with her parents and sometimes being snotty with them because she's just sort of leaving the angsty teenage years behind. But they're still they're still there a little bit. There's a book uh, that Hazel, my character, reads constantly. It's called An Imperial Affliction, and it's written by this author named Peter Van Houten, who moved to Amsterdam, became a recluse, and isn't really, doesn't respond to fan letters, is not part of anyone's lives. And to Hazel, this, this book, An Imperial Affliction, it's about a young girl who dies of cancer, and the end of the book, it ends mid-sentence. So throughout Hazel's entire life, she's always wanted to know what happens to the other characters since the book doesn't really have any conclusions. And since meeting Gus, he made it his wish so that they could go to Amsterdam and meet this author and ask him the questions that she's always wanted answers to. They're two incredibly strong-willed, wise young people who connect based on the fact that they they get things that a lot of people look past. I love Ansel. He played my brother in a movie called Divergent that we both just finished. So lucky for us, we got to know each other pretty well in that movie. And then segueing from that into this was the biggest blessing because we naturally had our chemistry. We already knew each other. And then we could just play and have fun as Hazel and Gus. And that's such an integral part of their relationship. So we both feel very grateful for that. But Ansel's like, He's like my brother for life. He's so curious about the world and he's so, everything excites him. The smallest thing, the biggest thing, he gets the biggest smile on his face, an infectious smile. Wilm was super fun to work with. He was only in for a few days. He only worked three days. And I briefly met him before we commenced our first scene. But it was just for rehearsal and it was very, very brief. And so jumping into it, our first, the first day we worked together was the intense scene where basically he tells us off. And, and I liked the fact that I didn't really know him. And I liked the fact that he didn't really know me and we were able to sort of go at each other in this room. And God, it was so much fun having him here. It's, it's, so, it's fun to work with the same group of people every day, but then when you get 
as one person who comes in and rocks it out. I mean, talk about a pro. Willem, he had basically a five-page monologue scene, and he knew every single line word for word. Every take he did a little bit differently just to, to keep it fresh and organic, and I was, I was blown away. I feel like he's the one, he's so unique in the sense of everybody feels the way Hazel and Gus feels. These aren't unique feelings. These aren't unique themes or intense storylines or universal truths that no one else has ever discovered. But the way that John is able to articulate these facts and manipulate the words into a way, in a way that makes you both empathize with them and yet, and relate to them and feel angered by them and hurt by them and excited by them. He just has this really beautiful gift of being able to write. I just remember giving him the biggest hug and being like, thank you so much for everything. And he was like, thank you. And I was like, what did it, for what? And he's like, for doing this for Hazel. And I was like, are you like, he is so excited to be here every day, which is, I think, he's our like everyone's biggest cheerleader. After a scene, even if no one feels good about it, you look at John Green and he's over there smiling and clapping. And to know that he's so, not just satisfied, he's thrilled, he's over the top, grateful for every single person involved in this movie is such a big deal to all of us. And I think is a really big component, or it's, it's a propellant, it, it throws us forward and it makes us even more excited to come and do our jobs. and. You know, oftentimes if I have a question about something that, about Hazel, or if Ansel has a question about Augustus, we'll go to him and we'll be like, what did, you know, in the book you said this specifically, what was the reason for that? And he's sort of our underground ally in helping us discover some truths that maybe we couldn't do on our own. You're just gonna leave affected, and it's really nice to feel. And I don't think that enough of us feel on a daily basis, or, I think a lot of us feel on a daily basis, we just don't acknowledge our feelings. And this movie won't let you leave without acknowledging your feelings.